The state has rested in the capital murder trial of Brian Coulter. He's accused of killing eight-year-old Kendrick Lee and leaving the boy's decomposing body in an apartment where the boy's brothers had to live. The surviving brothers recounted the heartbreaking details in court today. ABC 13's Courtney Fisher has more on a dramatic 911 call that one of those brothers made. Today ended with finally hearing that 911 call from the 15 year old who said on the phone to dispatchers, quote, my brother is dead. He's been dead for a while. We heard from all three surviving siblings. One by one, they testified. It was gun wrenching, but they stayed calm and composed the whole time, going through those detailed events, what they called abuse. The two younger boys, who were ages 10 and 7 at the time that their brother Kendrick Lee died at the hands, they say, of Brian Coulter, they told us that they saw. Brian Coulter beat Kendrick Lee to death. And Coulter sat there stone-faced. Take a look. No reaction for hours, just like this, listening as each boy took the stand describing that alleged abuse. The 15-year-old sitting just a few feet away from the man he said he once looked at as, quote, a father figure. But the teen didn't look at Coulter once as he described how his mother's boyfriend would lock his three younger brothers in their bedroom for days so they, quote, wouldn't go into the kitchen. The teen says he would hear crying coming from that room when Coulter went in at one point texting his mother that he saw Kendrick not moving under a blue blanket. The two younger brothers testified earlier through video. The judge ruled they didn't have to be in the same room as Coulter because of the alleged trauma. The boys both said they saw Coulter beat Kendrick to death, punching, kicking, even hitting the eight-year-old using the children's own toys, a plane, and Spider-Man figurine. By the way, we're not identifying the boys for their own protection, but those three siblings we heard from today lived with the body of their decaying brother for nearly a year as their mother and Coulter moved out, investigators say. Today, the state rested their case. We've also learned we won't hear from Brian Coulter himself. He has decided not to testify. As for whether or not the defense has a case to put on, they haven't quite made that decision. We have a break in trial tomorrow, but we'll resume on Monday. Of course, we'll be there.